Lifting Up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here with James Jacob Prash. Jacob, one of the believers wanted to know, could America actually be the final Babylon mentioned in the book of Revelations? The problem with this is nobody could ever possibly begin to prove such a thing. We have the references to Babylon in both Testaments, one being a literal Babylon in Mesopotamia, the other being Peter's reference to Rome as being Babylon in his epistle, She Was in Babylon, greets you. Babylon is emblematic of the false religious system of the world in confederation with its corrupt economic and political system. It's the name of an institution. Its geographical location is not what is necessarily most important. Obviously, the mystery religions of ancient Babylon found their way through Pergamum, where Satan's throne is, into the Greco-Roman world. So by the time of the early church, it was in Rome. During the Reformation, Luther wrote a treatise, The Babylonian Captivity of the Church, where he identified medieval Roman Catholicism with Babylon. Well, you can make that statement by application, but to be dogmatic about it and say, this is it, it's America, it's New York, it's Hollywood, it's whatever, Babylon is a global system. The Babylonian Empire encompassed most of the known world during the time of Jeremiah and Ezekiel and, and the aftermath until the Persian Empire ascended. It, it was not simply one city. It was a system emanating from that city. People have speculated. Be careful when people make such speculations. Um, a lot of foolishness that cannot be substantiated and that is often contradicted both by scripture and history has come from such kind of speculations. One of which is British Israelism, the, the doctrine of the lost tribes. It's absolute nonsense. Babylon is the world's false religious system in confederation with its political and economic system. It is global. It may at any point be controlled from one particular place. For instance, Peter writing, she who was in Babylon greets you. The early Christians would have seen that city of seven mountains as Rome in the book of Revelation. Or, <coughs> going further, uh, the medieval papacy orchestrating the false religions of the Western world from Rome. The modern European Union which I'm absolutely convinced is the embryo of what Daniel the prophet warned about with the iron and the clay. Uh, that was founded by the Treaty of Rome. I have no doubt that the city of Rome is closely associated with Babylon, just as the ruins of Babylon near the Iraqi city of Hillel in Mesopotamia is of spiritual significance. But Jesus said the same thing of Pergamum, where Satan's throne is. The way I've explained this in the past is thusly. <coughs> in London, England, the original headquarters of the Metropolitan Police was on a small street, basically an alleyway between two buildings called Scotland Yard, running from the Victoria Embankment to Whitehall near the Houses of Parliament. That was Scotland Yard. But today, the headquarters of the police is about a half a mile away on Victoria Street, adjacent the Home Office, the British Home Office. It's like the Interior Ministry. Uh, but it's still called Scotland Yard. The name of the institution takes the name of its original geographical location. In my native New York, Broadway theaters were originally on Broadway. Today, Broadway theaters are mainly on 43rd, 44th, 45th, and 46th and 47th Street, 
between 8th Avenue and Times Square. They're not actually on Broadway. Only a few of them are, but it's still called Broadway. Or the original New York Stock Exchange was on Wall Street. The present New York Stock Exchange, the entrance is on Broad Street, not Wall Street, but it's still called Wall Street. The name of the institution takes the name of the original location of it. It doesn't really matter in any primary sense where the geographical location is. It matters what the institution is. Well, Babylon is the same. Peter makes reference to Babylon, but he was obviously not talking about Babylon and Mesopotamia. He was talking about Rome. Our primary focus on Babylon must be the world's false religious system in confederation with its corrupt political and economic system, which will be the footstool for the Antichrist when he assumes dominion for a three and a half year period. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. <laughs>